Hello Virtual Pilots, I'm Andre Celesti and today we got some important news regarding the latest updates in DCS world. So it seems we are even closer to the open beta update. As indicated on the official DCS forum, the patch is planned for today. It may already be here as we record this video. Don't worry, as always we will cover all the new changes and improvements alongside new additions to DCS world. But most exciting, as suspected, we are glad to be right about this one, the new open beta patch brings along the highly anticipated multi-threading. In order to clarify what this means, ED has released a statement in which they explain how we can test the new multi-threading and what will it change. So users who want to test the new multi-threading version of DCS can do so with this open beta update. Bear in mind that it contains some known issues, but ED will gladly receive reports. We only need to make sure that the reports are as full and clear as possible and of course are reproducible. And also, please send crash information using the automatic send crash tool if possible. Good to know. And now you may wonder, ok, but how can we opt to launch this multi-threading in DCS world? For the standalone version, after the next open beta update, you can find a new folder called binmt in your DCS Open Beta main root folder where you have installed DCS Open Beta. To launch the multi-threading version, just navigate to that binmt folder and launch DCS executable from it. For Steam users, use the Play MT Preview in the launch options. To do so, right-click in the DCS World Steam Edition in Steam and select Play. You will see the pop-up. And it's as simple as that. Once again, you may ask, what is multi-threading and why should I test it? Multi-threading or MT is a programming technique that allows multiple threads to exist within the context of a single process. A thread is an independent path of execution within a program. And MT allows a program to perform multiple tasks concurrently, improving its performance and responsiveness. However, MT also introduces some complexities, such as thread synchronization and resource sharing, which must be carefully managed to avoid issues such as race conditions or deadlocks. Now for the time being, MT is optional for DCS, as it is a complex addition to the sim. It is choose to make it optional for initial public testing. Once fully tested and working well, well, it will be enabled by default. We have more explanations for you, but before we move on, let's hear a bit from our sponsor. VR Rock is offering something we deem right for our community. Blue light protection and specialized prescription lenses for your VR headsets. Yes, you heard me right. It's a problem I encountered ever since I started using my VR headset. My friends who wear prescription glasses couldn't enjoy flying in DCS as my headset couldn't safely fit without taking the glasses off. VR Rock will manufacture the lenses according to the prescription information you provide, fitting most VR headsets currently on the market and will ship it worldwide with the benefit of a tax-free policy. They also include non-prescription eye protection lenses. If you use our Hip Games discount code, you will receive 5% on any order and support our channel in the process. Link is in the video description. So moving on, you may wonder how long will MT be in a preview state? Well, it depends on the public testing and the results plus the feedback. Of course, we will get informed on how the test progresses and rest assured here at How I Play we will keep you posted as well. Now as you may remember from recent news, MT will improve both 2D and VR performance. MT is agnostic between the 2D monitor and VR. Both will see the same proportion of improvement, but we need to note that VR is in general more demanding, so we will see a lower FPS than the flat screen performance given the higher rendering overhead. Now there are also limitations, for example, MT may not help with performance if you have a GPU bottleneck. This is because the GPU is responsible for rendering and processing graphics, and it operates independently of the CPU. So MT may not directly improve GPU performance, but it can help to improve overall application performance by offloading non-GPU related tasks to separate CPU threads. Also, while MT can improve performance on a CPU with multiple cores, it may not provide significant benefits on a CPU with a few cores. In fact, it could even lead to decreased performance in some cases. 
about the dedicated server, please know that currently it won't be used with the MT feature. It will be developed later on down the line. But keep in mind that MT and ST users can play on the same server, so that's that. And as a final touch, now we should see improvements in larger missions. But mission designers should still consider unit count in any missions they create. So please don't jump to that 700 bumper formation, if you know what I mean. Overloading a multiplayer mission with units will result in loss of performance. It's normal. So ED has done a lot of testing to squash as many bugs as they could. But at this stage, we can still expect some issues during the public testing. It's called open beta for a reason. And if by chance you don't see any improvements in performance, please make a forum post with your DCS.log, DXDiag and a track replay example in the performance issue forum section. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. Time for testing has begun and it's amazing to finally be here. As always, a big thank you to our Patreon that support our channel, Rhinox, Steven Adaschik, Pegasus24, Runan, Bish, Peiwei AK Malone, Santiago Ordones, Hobo and Slackman. We also want to thank our viewers that donate to our channel. And if you want to help us grow, well, we created that Patreon page with a few benefits for our subscribers. Use the thanks button and leave us a like if you find our video informative and entertaining. And of course, subscribe to keep in touch with all the latest news on your favorite simulators and games. I am Andre Celesti, reminding you to fly safe and I'll see you next time.